Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today in this video we are going to study about the 12th Commerce IT paper. So this paper is totally designed according to the board pattern and today we are going to learn about filling the blanks, true or false as well as multiple choice questions with one correct, two correct and three correct options. So let us begin with the first question that is filling the blanks. The dash attribute of input tag specifies that the user is allowed to enter more than one value in the input element. So the answer is multiple. So if you want to insert more than one value and if you want to insert the, uh, multiple values then here the answer will be multiple. Next question. Dash is a collection of related data items stored in a well organized manner. So if you want to store any type of data in a well organized manner, you have to store it in a database. So the answer here is database. Next question, meta HTTP equi, the page will refresh after every 5 seconds. So if you want to refresh any page in the case of meta tag, you have to use refresh as the value to be written inside the inverted comma. So answer is refresh. Next question. Changes are visible to the users in dash SEO. So if you want that whatever changes you make in your website that should be visible to the user then that time you have to uh, make sure it is going to come under on page SEO. Next is meta tag is specially to boost your dash SEO. Now whatever you write inside the meta tag that information is never displayed on your output channel. So output screen of your web page. So why is meta tag used? It is always used to boost the on page SEO performance of your particular website. Next question is straight whether true or false. First statement class selector is used with period character. So here the, uh, the statement is exactly true. If you use class selector you have to use period as a character. Next statement. DBMS stands for Direct Management System. This is totally false. DBMS stands for Database Management System. Next question. The float property defines the flow of content. So the answer is exactly true. We can keep a float at uh, left hand side at the right hand side. And this answer that it defines the flow of the content is exactly true. Next question. Two different search engines show similar results. So whenever you search on Yahoo or whenever you search on Google, if you search for on both the search engine, if you search only for a sim, same topic still, you will see different types of websites are displayed at the uh, both the search engine. So this statement is totally wrong. Two different search engines show similar result is a false statement. Two different search engines always show different results. That is the correct statement. Next question, setup cost of e-commerce is expensive. Yes, exactly true. Uh, whatever is the setup cost of e-commerce like to prepare the software, then again the maintenance cost, if, if, if in case the software gets crashed, again to do its recovery. So all these things requires lot of maintenance cost. Hence, the setup cost of EM uh, e-commerce is expensive and this is a true statement. Next is question number three, MCQs with one correct option. The dash value specifies the character coding of the document. So it is nothing but char set. Meta char set in big 5 is dash for dash language. So if it is big 5 then it is Chinese language. Next each declaration contains a property name and a value separated by dash. So if it is property name and value then your answer is colon. Lekin agar question mein aisa aata hai ki if you, if you want to separate one property name with another property name then what is the scenario then your answer it is answer will be semicolon. So don't get confused in such type of questions. Next question a dash is a type of attribute of HTML document. So here the answer is property. Next question license renewals and paying tax can be done through dash type of governance. So here the answer is G to C. Next question, mobile banking, e-bill payment, ticket booking are the examples of dash. So here the answer is EDI that uh, no, uh, here the answer is M commerce as uh, mobile, it, uh, it is given mobile banking, e-bill payment, all these things we do with the help of mobile. 
Hence, the answer is M Commerce. Next question: Dash is a process which allows one company to send information to the another company electronically rather than a paper. Then this is nothing but EDI, that is Electronic Data Interchange. Next question: Dash denotes the creation and promotion of a content. So that is nothing but content marketing. Dash is a program used by the search engine to collect data from the website. It is a crawler. Dash is a collection of related data. It's table. Next question. Multiple choice questions with two correct alternatives. Now here we have to choose the two alternatives. First question. Following are the values of border property. So here the answer is solid and groove. Following are the values of display properties. Here the answer is inline and block. Next question. Screen of base consists of following paths. So the answer is title bar and menu bar. Next question. Encryption is of two types, dash and dash. The answer is symmetric and asymmetric. Next question. The paid advertisement of Google can be identified with dash keyword. So here the right answer is sponsored and AD. Only AD that is capital A and small d. Next question is multiple choice with three correct option. The first question is types of e-governance are as it is e-governance you should always see where is G. So option A G to C, option B G to G and option F G to E is the right answer. Next question valid approaches SEO to generate traffic to your websites are. So if it is related to generate the traffic then the answer should be on page SEO of page SEO and technical SEO. Now we are going to see match the pairs. The first is query. So query is always used to retrieve the data from the database. So query's answer is C. Second is report. Report is nothing but a data in a printed form. So second's answer is option D that is printed form of data. Third is form. Form is nothing but it is always used to collect the information from the user. So forms option is option A collect information from the user. And last is table. Table is used to collect the related data. So this is all related to objective part and then we have the HTML program. So HTML program you can see it is related to the list. You can use the list and unlist tags and you can prepare these types of program. As you can see the first program starts with 1, 2, 3 and the second starts with 50, 51, 52. You have to use a start as an attribute inside your uh, the OL or UL tag whether it is ordered, whether it is unordered list. Depending on that you have to use it and you have to give the number so that the list starts from that certain number. And the next one is uh, related to the uh, designing of the form. So this is all about the program. You can practice these programs at your home. So thank you for watching. Kindly subscribe the channel.